Hello, great you. Welcome to another one here on Truth and Love the Church. So I've been sharing videos about Apostle Arome and Pastor John Arosega with regards to this issue of adultery. It all started when Apostle Arome said this. Was he here? I boasted. And I said, any woman that you know that I've slept with you before, go to Facebook and cry. Shout! <laughs> I challenge every pastor to do that. And because of this boastful statement, he was corrected by Pastor John Anusike, as you are hearing now. One teacher that, called, that had claimed himself to be a teacher said, gave a challenge. If you're a man of God, you've never slept with another woman. Come, come out and say it. I can say it boldly. Say, really? Look at that is boast. Pride from the pit of hell. Because yes. that's your filthy righteousness. And it does not amount to anything before God. Because yes. even though you think you have not done it, it is by his grace and righteousness that empowered you not to. But here's my take in such type of nonsense words my take there is if you claim you have not done it physically have you done it in your imaginations come out and tell us that you have not lost it after any woman And you know, he defended um, his statement by saying what you're going to be hearing right now. You know what? I am sure of my integrity. And that's why I did this in South Africa. I said, hey, if there is any woman among you that I laid hand on, let the woman cry out. I found it from the life of Samuel. And we saw you guys going back and forth in the comment section saying Apostle Aram is right, Pastor John is wrong. Well, we have Prophet Angel as he is going to be touching on this and I believe he's going to be helping a lot of us where he talks about the grace of God and that everyone has committed adultery in their heart. This is just the truth. So let's listen uh, to this video. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Tell us what you think about this. And there's a little advert I just want to make. It's uh, me just being me. You know, we did an advert about Pastor Chris's healing streams, which uh, we told you that it's going to be from the 15th to the 17th of March. Well, my brother, Hubert Angel Jr., is going to be having a conference, the Promised Land, on Saturday and Sunday, as you can see over there. If you are in the United Kingdom, do find yourself there. And I'll meet you in the next one as always. God bless you. <laughs> and you go like, oh, the technology has increased. You are being fooled. Consistently fooled. It's the same thing I've been telling people here about this, this thing that happened to this prophet who is dead. Now who's gone home to be with the Lord. Where people just come in and say all kind of nonsense and nonsense and nonsense. Someone came in and said, you know what? Um, I've never cheated on my wife, ever. Um, sir, Jesus did not talk about you sleeping with a wife. No. Jesus said, if you look at a woman to last after it, you have already done this physical act spiritually. Just look. And the spirit is more tangible to God than the natural. The natural is a shadow. So a man who sleeps with a woman physically and a man who does commit adultery with his eyes, the one who does with his eyes is worse than the physical one. Wow. The spiritual is more powerful than the natural. Yes, that's true. That's, true. that's why Jesus said if you so look at a woman to last after you commit adultery. There's no preacher on this earth who has not committed adultery. If not physically, with your eyes you did. Mm. These members in our churches mm. are being lied to. Mm. So they will follow us thinking, we, we, I'll just be like our man of God. Mm. Then after two months they realize, wait a minute, mm. it's not working. Mm. This might be just a superman, I'm not. Mm. 
No, sir. No, ma'am. No, that's why God gave grace. That's why Jesus died on the cross. He knows you can't do it. You needed Jesus, not me. Jesus. If you follow me and study me, you will fail. I mean, examine a test you can pass. But study Jesus, you go to heaven. You study you be the angel, you will fail. Because you be the angel fails. Do you understand this? Yes, sir. I, I had a problem as a man of God. Not even as just a Christian. As a man of God, as a prophet, mm. I had the problem where I needed to stop some, some sin. I needed to stop some, some, some tendency. Mm. And I couldn't. Mm. And I'm like, man, God, I need, I need to do this. I need to do this. I need to do it. I need to do it. And I will put my, my, all my power into it. And nothing. Mm. Oh, my God, what do I do? I got in front of Pastor Chris. I said, I had that, this, this, and people were saying this, and this, and this. And, but I don't listen to what people say. I listen to what God says about you. If God is not talking to me directly, if the Bible is not talking about you, I will not talk about you. I said, what kind of man is this that doesn't condemn me? He's just here to tell me what the scriptures are saying. He says he's only concerned about what God says about me. He says, I hear God to extend where God will tell me about you. And I will tell you if he's correcting you, where you need to go, how you need to move. My God, I was free. Mm, that's so did it give me, did it give me a license to sin? No. It gave me an empowerment to stop it. Grace is the empowerment to stop sinning. It's not a license to sin. Uh, I was very fluent at sin. When I got born again, the devil went into a depression. He said, we lost a good man. <laughs> and I would be coming there, visiting the devil here and there. And the devil would say, he's back. Then I leave him. He's back again. I leave him. And I realized one thing when I met a man that taught me about God's grace, why he came to die for us. That's when I would never boast about some holy thing. I would never boast. I even stopped exposing people through prophecy. Yeah. Because God told me, if, what if somebody exposes you? Would you be comfortable in the house of God? Mm. I said, no. I will stop coming. <laughs> I said, so you would stop, but they wouldn't stop. Mm. They might even leave Christianity. Mm. I said, okay, God, it's all right. I'll tell them in their ear and tell them the good part later on. Mm. I said, that's, that's it. True. We agree. True. That's Are you getting this? Yes. Let's go back to our scriptures. Let's go back to our scriptures. Mm.